بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله this is to address uh, as a general piece of advice from one of our fellow brothers or sisters in Islam uh, in Norway and the question had to do with uh, seeking the counsel of the scholars, you know, and having questions and being able to contact the scholars. So what I wanted to say is that, of course, this is a noble endeavor, first and foremost, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we kitab al-kareem, fasal ahli dhikr in kuntum la ta'alamun. Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. So that is something which is commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to do, to seek out those who know when we don't know. And what we can gain from this and when we analyze looking at the reality of knowledge and the reality of the scholars and the reality of scholarship is that Ahl al-ilm tafawit Ahl al-ilm tafawit Meaning that the scholars of Islam, they have different levels. So therefore, scholarship has different levels. So I'm sure in Norway, in the communities, because I know they have a significant tekfiri community they, they did in the past. A lot of uh, people have come out of the Scandinavian countries. A lot of tekfiris, a lot of tekfiris have migrated there from North Africa specifically. And with that being the case, of course there are people that have knowledge there. I'm not saying to go to the Tekfiris, but what I'm saying is that there is knowledge there. There is some, I know that there has to be some Tulab al-Ilm and Imams. And so it is not necessary that you contact Imam Salih bin Fuzan or Sheikh Salih Suhaimi or Sheikh uh, Ali Nasr al-Fiqi because you want to know is water pure or not meaning that I'm sure most of your questions can be answered by your local imams and local students of knowledge if that's not the case because of the fact that we have the internet and the fact that I'm even addressing this and I'm here in Washington State in North America you're in Norway it shows us that we can use these resources uh, the social media avenues to talk to. There are an abundance of students of knowledge and mashayikh, if you will, that speak English, and I'm sure some that speak uh, your 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 uh, Norwegian and what have you. That there is a there's a plethora of people who have studied around the world and communities are functioning around the world so you can use the social media avenues to try to talk to if you feel that you don't have any scholarship around you to use it to ask questions to students of knowledge that are in Sweden and I've known so many Tulab al-Ilm from Sweden I've met in Medina I've known many and so I know there are mashayikh there and other countries around you, I'm sure probably in Denmark, there must be, there, there. I'm sure there is too. The point being that there's hopefully access to these students of knowledge. There is a lot of people who are calling to the book and the sunnah around the world and in the West that you can find that can answer your questions and can help you deal with some of the issues if you cannot find people that are readily available locally. So this is what I would advise in general uh, when it comes to needing fatawa and so forth. The second piece of advice I want to advise with in general is that we as Muslims need to seek some knowledge going through. And that is without doubt is accessible. YouTube is there with countless lessons from students of knowledge of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. Countless. There are so many. So many books are being taught, full books, 
And if you go through the full books, I'm not talking about just feel-good lectures, and I'm not talking about just muhadarat, and I'm not just talking about khutbas or khutub, but we're talking about uh, actually going sitting with a book, which is free, you can download on, on Google, and go through a text, Usul al-Thalatha, Qu'a'id al-Arba, Malachis Fiqiyya, you know, books in Fiqh and books in uh, Creed and books dealing with various sciences in uh, Islamic sciences. And if you do that, this will help to give you a foundation because you need this foundation. The foundation, when we talk about usul, we're talking about something that you stand upon. It's the, it's the foundation. So when you have an usul and you understand something from the usul of Ahl Sunnah with Jama'ah, you understand some of those base principles and some of the Masail, you know the, the, the pillars of uh, Islam and you know them well, and you know the Arkan al Iman and you know them well, and you know Ihsan and you know things that you can get from the Hadith Jibreel and you know some of that general knowledge and even some detailed knowledge without that, with that, that's going to help you to stand on something. Then you can ask more educated questions when you're asking questions. So uh, this is very important for us to study and gain some base uh, knowledge about our religion so we can seek to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on knowledge, based on uh, basira and insight and seeking to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is what I advise in general is to ask, look in your local locality if you don't find it there, look in some of the neighboring countries and 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 that can all that's can easily be done by the internet i know there has to be websites and there has to be ways to get in contact with students of knowledge there in sweden for example because that's your your neighbor uh or in other uh countries definitely the uk there's a plethora of students of knowledge and mashayikh there that you can benefit from and of course in america we have a plethora as well so uh it's just trying your best trying to get in 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 those connections we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of our affairs easy wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad